at last, let us look at internal consistency method of reliability assessment. This method estimates the consistency within the instrument and questions how well a set of items measures a particular behavior or characteristic within a test. This method of establishing reliability essentially relies upon how well the several items within the measure hang together. There are four ways to check the internal consistency of a measure. Inter-item correlation For a measure to be reliable, the estimates of reliability are based on the average intercorrelations among all the single items within a test. For example, Suppose that a measure of customer satisfaction consists of four statements regarding how satisfied the customer is with service, prices, etc. So the reliability of the measure can be assessed by using the inter-item correlations. If the measure is made up of homogeneous items, each item should be highly correlated with the other items, and the overall average inter-item correlation will be high. Another method to determine internal consistency of items of a measure is by looking at item to total correlation. We can correlate each item with the total score to examine the internal consistency of a measure. This gives us an idea of the contribution of each item towards the reliability of the measure. Split half method is another way to determine internal consistency of a measure. We can split the measure in two halves so that there are two sets of questions. We can then see if the two subscales are highly correlated. So, if people who score high on the first half, also score high on the second half, then we can say that the internal consistency in the measure is high. In contrast to the test retest and alternative form methods, the split half approach is usually measured in the same time period and it requires only one administration. This method is especially appropriate when the test is very long. The odd even strategy is the most commonly used method to split the test into two. This method has some merits and demerits over the other methods we have discussed. The effect of memory discussed previously does not operate with this approach. Another practical advantage of using the split halves is that it is usually cheaper and more easily obtained than overtime data. However, the most common disadvantage of the split half method is that the correlation between the two halves will vary slightly depending on how the items are divided. Coefficient alpha Coefficient alpha was popularized by Kronbusch in 1951 and it is often referred to as Kronbusch's alpha. It is the most popular method of testing for the internal consistency of a measure. So, if we have a measure with k items then Kronbusch's alpha is defined as 